Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video we're talking about related calculations. So what I'd like us to be able to do is evaluate, so work out the exact answer to complex calculations using related calculations and estimation skills. I'm going to show you using related calculations is going to be the first way and using some estimation is going to be uh, the second way to get to the same answer. Okay, what is a related calculation? Well, suppose we have a multiplication fact. 7 multiplied by 6 is 42. That's the first fact we're given. There are actually um, three more associated facts that we can deduce uh, using these numbers. We can also say that 6 multiplied by 7 also gives us 42. And that's because multiplication is actually commutative. That means the order doesn't matter in which we multiply the numbers. We can also deduce some division facts. We can say that 42 divided by um, 7 must give me the answer 6, and 42 divided by 6 gives me the answer 7. And these set of four facts are called what I like to call related calculations. So they're related calculations. And when we know one, we instantly in our head know the other three, and it can help us to work out variations on these. Okay? So that's the idea we're using in this video. So, let's do an example. The way it comes up in, in the GCSE. And I'm actually going to show you two different ways to do this, and you decide which you prefer. So actually what I'll do is, I'll, um, I'll put a line down the page here to indicate that I'm going to show two different ways. Okay, we are told that 23 multiplied by 45 is 1035. Now this would be a non-calculator type question because we're expected to use that fact to deduce various other answers. First thing I'd always like you to do is label that one and deduce the other facts. So the other facts are that 45 multiplied by 23 must be 1 1,035, and also we're going to have um, that 1,035 divided by 45 must give me 23, and 1,035 divided by 23 must give me 45. Right, the question we are asked. We are asked what is 2.3 multiplied by 45? Well, hopefully you can see this is um, using uh, the first fact, the first fact there. So actually, what we can say is that 2.3 is 23 divided by 10 multiplied by 45. Now, bid mass uh, or, um, tells us that multiplication and division happen with equal order, so what we can say from that is that 23 multiplied by 45 divided by 10. Okay, we can say these are equal. We can just swap these around because it doesn't matter the order in which we do these. But we know 23 multiplied by 45 by the top uh, re related calculation is 1,035. So we can divide that by 10. And therefore, we can say our answer is clearly going to be 103.5. So I'm actually just going to put my answer here or because I've run out of space, 103.5. Okay, now I'm going to just show you a slightly different method. Obviously, we, we still know that this relates to uh, fact one. But what we can do is we can round everything to one significant figure. So we can round this to one significant figure and say it's approximately 2 multiplied by 50, which is equal to 100. So we can say it's approximately equal to 100. So when we're looking at our related calculation 1, we know, therefore, that the answer to this uh, question, um, so 2.3 multiplied by 45, it's in the region of 100. So looking at this, it must look like that. So it must be 103.5. OK? So either way, you decide what way you prefer. Let's do another example. 4.2 multiplied by... Um, 23. So, uh, sorry, 4.5 multiplied by 23. Well, that's fact 2. So we can state that's fact 2.
And what we can say is that this is equal to 45 divided by 10 multiplied by 23. We can swap the order and say that's 45 multiplied by 23 divided by 10. And obviously what we can do then is we can say that this is equal to this thing here is 1035 divided by 10. And again, that's equal to 103.5. So our answer, I'm just going to write up here, is 103.5. We can do a similar thing to what we did before. This is fact two. Round everything you see to uh, the first significant figure. So it would be approximately equal to 5 multiplied by 20, which is actually 100. You know the answer is some form of 1035. Uh, you know it's close to 100. So the answer to this, 4.5 multiplied by 23 must be 103.5, which is the nearest variation of the digits 1035 that's close to 100. Okay, so let's keep going here. I'm just going to shift the, these down so we've got a bit more space. Okay, so what we're looking for next is 230 multiplied by 45. Now that's obviously fact one. Okay, so this is fact one. So we can say this is 23 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 45. And we can swap the order of the multiplication and say that's 23 multiplied by 45 multiplied by 10, which is 1035 multiplied by 10, which is equal to um, 10,350. So that's what we're saying our answer is. Let's do it again by just uh, using estimation. Round into one significant figure, that's approximately equal to 200 multiplied uh, by 50. And 200 multiplied uh, by 50 is going to be 10,000. So we know our answer is something like 1035, but it's in the order of 10,000. So we know therefore that 230 multiplied by 45 must be 1035. It has that in it, but it's in the region of 10,000, so it must have a zero at the end, 10,350. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, do a few more here. So, 2.3 multiplied by 45. Again, this uh, relates to fact one. And we can say this is equal to 23 divided by 10 multiplied by 45 divided by 10. We can swap the order of the multiplication and division. So that's 23 multiplied by 45 divided by 10 divided by 10, which is 23 multiplied by 45 by fact 1 is 1035. Dividing by 10 and divided by 10 is like dividing by 100. And therefore the answer must be 10.35. Again, by estimation, we can say this is approximately equal to 2 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 10. So we know that the answer to 2.3 multiplied by 4.5 has 1035, the digits in it, but it's close to 10, so the decimal point must be there, 10.35. So the next uh, question obviously relates to fact one again, and this is equal to 23, um, and it's going to, if, tw if the decimal point was originally here in the 23, um, imagine, just to show you, 23, and the decimal point was originally here, we must have divided by 10, 20, uh, sorry, 10, 100, and 1,000 to get it to look like that. So it's been divided by 1,000. So it's 23 divided by 1,000, multiplied by 45, multiplied by 10. Swapping the order, that's 23 multiplied by 45, divided by 1,000, multiplied by 10. Now 23 multiplied by 45 by the fact 1 is 1,035. And dividing by 1,000 and multiplying by 10 is like dividing by 100. So this would give us the answer 10.35. So let's check that our other way. This calculation rounding would be approximately 0 0.02 multiplied by 500. 
and 0 0.02 multiplied by 500 is actually 10. So we know that 0 0.023 multiplied by 450 has the digits 10, uh, 1035 in it and the decimal point must be here to make it close to 10. So that's our first stab at related calculations, two different ways, up to you what you'd rather do, but you can use both to check your answers. Let's do one more example involving division, because division can sometimes be complicated, then you try some yourself. We're told 89 multiplied by 42 is as follows. So what we'd like to do, step one, is write our other calculations. Our other calculations are 42 multiplied by 89, must be 3,738. And our division facts, which I actually, uh, I'll write in two ways, uh, 3,738 divided by 42 must equal 89, and uh, 3,738 divided by 89 must equal 42. But I would always also encourage you, and think you should, write them as fractions, because I think this is often easier. So that's 3,738 divided by or over 42 would give you 89, and 3,738 over 89 or divided by 89 gives you 42. It's going to be more helpful for me to use them in that way. Okay, let's have a go at these questions. Okay, so we're going to do these um, uh, in, in the two ways as well. Let's try and do these in the two ways with the divisions. So I'm going to just put a line here. Firstly, the first one, 8.9 divided by 42, this obviously relates to fact one. And that's equal to 89 divided by 10 multiplied by 42 and use a blue pen actually, is 89 multiplied by 42 divided by 10, just changing the order, and 89 multiplied by 42 is 3,738 divided by 10, and we get ourselves therefore 378.3 uh, as our answer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and do it the other way as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, um, rounding everything to one significant figure, this is approximately 9 multiplied by 40, and 9 multiplied by 40 is 360, so the answer is going to be close to that, so 8.9 multiplied by 42 must have the digits 3, 7, 3, 8 in it, and it's as close to 360 as we can get, so the decimal point must be there. Okay, let's try the next one. I'd always encourage you to write these as a division, as a fraction, sorry. So 3, 7, 3, 8 over 89. Well, we actually know, looking up here, that that is actually equal to 42 by fact 4. Okay? So this is a simple one. This is actually one of the facts. Sometimes one of the division facts are actually asked of you without much work to do. So just be careful of that and be mindful that it might come up in that way. So let's just um, just sorting this out so we can continue. So the next one, let's write that as a division. So we can say this is equal to 37380 divided by 42. Now, um, we could write the top as 3738 multiplied by 10 divided by 42. And we therefore know um, we know this part here is equal to um, 89 by our one of our facts. And so we've got 89 for this part multiplied by 10, so 890. Let's do that by approximation. This is approximately, rounding everything to one significant figure, 40,000 over 40. Okay, and we can divide top and bottom by 10 let's say, simplify it, so that's 4,000 divided by 4, which is approximately 1,000. So we know the answer has the digits um, 89 in it. We know it must have the digits 89 in it, 
So 37380 divided by 42 must have 89 in it, and it's got to be as close to 1,000 as we can get, so it must be 890. <clears throat> okay, the next one. We can say this is equal um, to 3,738 divided by uh, 4.2 or over 4.2, which is 3,738 divided by uh, 42 divided by 10. Now, it's, it's quite confusing. Um, actually, what, what I'm going to do, rather than do that actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use something we did previously. I'm going to say that, you know what, I don't like decimals on the denominator. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 10 to remove that issue. So it's 37,380 divided by 42, which is 3,738 multiplied by 10 over 42. And you can see now why I've done that, because this here is one of my facts. The answer to that is 89, and we've got multiplied by 10, so the answer is 890. Again, we can check our working. We can approximate this to 4,000 divided by um, Um, 4 here, and 4,000 divided by 4 is equal to 1,000. So I know that the answer to 3738 divided by 42, 4.2 even, up here by fact 3 has an 89 in it, and we need to make it as close as we can to 1,000, so it's going to be 890. Okay, and the last one, so I'm going to say this is equal to 373800 divided by 40, uh, 0 0.42. I'm going to multiply the bottom by 100 to get rid of the decimal, so I have to do that to the top as well. So this is going to be equal um, to the following 373800 and another 00. zero. So this is go therefore going to be equal to actually 37 million divided by 42. And this, therefore, is 3738 multiplied um, by um, 10,000 all over 42. And I know this here is one of my facts. 3738 to, uh, over, over 42 is equal to 89 again. So this is 89 multiplied by 10,000 which is going to be 890,000. And let's try this by estimation as well. Estimating everything to one significant figure, it's approximately 400,000 uh, divided by 0, uh, 0.4, multiplying top and bottom by 10 to remove that decimal. It's approximately 4 million divided by 4, and 4 million divided by 4 is actually a million. So I know the answer to 373800 divided by 0 0.42. I know it's certainly got 89 in it, um, and it's going to be as close as we can to a million, so it's going to be 890,000. Okay, so there we go. Harder with divisions there, but that's everything you need to know for related counts. I'm going to show you some questions, pause the video, try them, and I'll put the answers up in 10 seconds. The answers going up here are as follows. There, so use the answers there to check your work. Um, and I hope you found that video useful in your revision. And I'll see you again sometime.